Good afternoon. I'm Charlie Belcher coming to you from Tampa today. 11811. North Armenia, to be exact. That is where you will find Miss Anita's Crafts. Anita Sexton had a passion for crafting, for art, and for sharing that passion with young people. Sadly, she passed away in 2020, but her family is continuing her passion. In fact, it is literally in their DNA. Emily Sexton, uh, Anita's daughter, you, you, you couldn't not do it if you didn't want to. <laughs> yeah. It is in your blood. Yeah. Uh, and we, so 2020, we lose your mom. Mm -hmm. She was a good friend of ours, too, on Good Day Tampa Bay with us all the time. It, was it a tough decision to decide that I'm going to continue this in her honor? I don't think so because, you know, it's just what I've always done. I've always been in the background here anyways. You know, I was never front and center. I was never teaching the classes, but I was always in some way involved heavily yeah. with everything that was going on here. So I knew what to do, just kind of take the reins and go from there. Yeah. Good for you. And I'm glad you have. You've been successful with it so far. You're a special ed teacher mm -hmm. uh, by trade. Yes. So you do this kind of on the weekends after school. And anytime school is off, you offer all mm -hmm. sorts of arts and crafts programs. Yep, yep. Spring break camps or during the week of Thanksgiving when the kids are out of school. Yeah. So this summer, obviously, people are thinking about camps and that sort of thing. You offer a different art project every single day in the month of June and July yep. for a couple of hours. It's not like an all-day camp thing, right. and it, but it's not even a weekly thing. You can do it day by do it two or three days or not. And that's what a lot of people do. A lot of people pick and choose. They go on the website. They let their kid pick the ones they're interested in. They might come one day. They might skip a couple of weeks and come back for another one. So it's really up to you. You have a lot of freedom. And let's talk logistics so folks uh, understand what we're talking about. What are the age groups? And give me a sense of the projects, art projects they'll be working on. So it's five and up. The average age we get is about eight years old. Um, that's for our morning classes. That's the Monday through Friday from 10 to 12. Now our Friday afternoons, that's from one to three. And those are for ages 10 and up. We get a lot of teenagers. We get the middle schoolers that come for those. And that's where we're doing like our Taylor Swift paintings and things like that, stuff that they're more interested yeah. in. And then. Well, you gave us a great example this morning on Good Day Tampa Bay of, of some of the different projects. Kind of give people an idea of what we're talking about. Simple, little messy, fun, and something that kids can take home and put on the fridge. Yeah, everything is beginner level. Everything is just very hands-on, a lot of painting. It's messy. We have aprons. Um, do kind of come in your paint clothes just in case. Um, but we definitely keep them busy for the full two hours. Yeah, we do like an hour of crafting. We take a snack break, and then we do that other, uh, whatever, 45 minutes to finish up. Yeah, good for you. Uh, and how much notice do you need if people need to sign up? And it, 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 there's no commitment other than just showing up that day, right? Just the day before. I ask for that so I have time to plan and get all the supplies ready. But, yeah, a lot of people do text me that morning and say, <laughs> is it okay? And I say, yeah, a lot of times. All right. Good for you, Emily. Uh, congratulations. Thank Keep you. it going. Good to see you. MissAnitasCrafts.com. MissAnitasCrafts.com. If you want to check it out, see what they have going on this summer. See if you've got a little one or a niece, nephew, grandchild that might want to be involved and get a little arts and craftsy this summer. Now you know at least another option. Charlie Belcher, Fox 13 News.